Well, what is up guys? My name is Thaddeus. Welcome to another business video on the business channel, Business with Thaddeus. And in this one, we're gonna talk about how you guys can actually start generating you know, over $500 a day in sales and kind of breaking that down, breaking the entire funnel and process down for you guys to kind of better understand you know, what it actually takes to make 500 a day. Because in the giant scheme of things, 500 a day is, is really not that much. Like you could be making thousands a day once you scale your site properly. And that's that's kind of like what I'm trying to like, the end goal is, right? But for now, we're gonna show you like break down the, the basis of it and kind of what to do to kind of get get your foot in the door and start getting start getting those sales, right? So excuse me if I am tired. It's currently 419 in the morning right now. Uh, haven't slept yet. And I'm recording this video for you guys to drop some more value. So let's let's just get started. I'm actually screen sharing this one, which I don't usually do. So that's that that's the first. So let, let's let's start that screen share, right? I do want to give a very quick shout out to my boy Alex, who's I'm actually I'm actually gonna have him. Um, hop on the channel and like interview him. All right, but guys literally just DM'd me on Instagram guys um, Literally from from the course he's made 4.87 K in one week Literally in, in one in one and I assume like one week of sales, okay? One week of sales, congrats if you guys haven't already. Course link is in the description. Now let's get to the video. All right guys, one more thing as promised. I'm actually recording this as I'm editing, as I'm editing the video, but I promised you guys that I would have, um, you know, I'd give really big discount codes in every single video. So there is 85% off on the course. First, there's only, there's only, three, only three uses of this for 85% off. So have at it boys. And um, yeah guys, and if you want the giveaway, if you want to actually win the course for free, all you have to do is like this video and add me on Snapchat right here. That's all you gotta do. And I will show the winners on Snapchat. So yeah, cheers. All right, back to the video. All right, guys, we are now, like, you're, see, you're seeing mostly my laptop screen now. And so basically what I have is a, is a little document here outlined for you guys. Essentially, if you want to skip everything and, like, like just like not listen to me, you are more than welcome to just download this as a PDF. Link is in the description as well with every other link that I fucking talk about. Now, uh, what we want to talk about is, like, basically what you're selling, right? $500 a day. What do you need to do to get that $500 a day, to hit that $500 a day benchmark on Shopify, right? So the first thing you want to look at is, you know, what, what, what the hell are you selling, right? Um, breaking this down, right, as I have now, it's a, that, that's basically saying you're selling a $500 product one time every day. So one person in the entire world needs to buy a $500 product from you to make $500 a day, all right? Well, what could that be? So, like, in here in parentheses, I've listed, you know, potential um, industries that you could look into. Um, these are just things that I've known to have gotten sales in the past. So that, that that's just, like, literally just for you guys free value, like, hey, that, that's a potential industry that you can look into, all right? So just breaking down more, you know, you either sell a $100 product five times a day to make $5 a day on Shopify, or you sell a $70 product eight times a day, you sell a $50 product 10 times a day, you know, like watches, um, stuff like that, you, or you can sell a $20 product 25 times a day, you know, more in the, at least me personally, I have more success in the fashion industry, most of my products were anywhere from 10 to um, $65, okay? And then the last one is you sell a $10 product 50 times each day, okay? And like basically how you want to decide whether or not what, like what you want to do and what kind of route you guys want to go down in like deciding what your product is, right? Is first of all, you got to look at how you're going to actually um, like vet your products, right? How you're going to determine these are actual selling products, okay? The first thing you want to do, at least with me and my my funnel that I, that I prefer to go in, especially with the fashion industry, is I look at competitors, okay? And I look at my par my possible marketing outlets, all right? So what does that actually mean? So me personally, I will go find themed Instagram pages, okay? I'll look at them, see what see what those pages are promoting. Most of the time, these pages off like they usually do shout outs for other companies, okay? I want to see what these companies are promoting because it usually tells you if you can find a lot of competition in the industry. That, like that's saying there's money in the industry, okay? I've said that in like every single one of my videos because it's so true, and you guys need to get that in your head that if there's a lot of competitors out there, that means there's lots of money in the industry for you to take, all right? Like the universe doesn't care if you you know you take five hundred dollars a day all right out of the whatever billion dollar amount of transactions that are just in the United States alone okay so really five hundred dollars a day is not that much and that's kind of just why you had to like desensitize yourself to you know that that kind of number especially if you guys are just starting out that think you know five hundred dollars a day thousand a day is like something so crazy and unattainable that you make it hard on yourself just with your own mindset and saying like yo like that's a lot of money. I don't know if I can do this, right? It's like in the giant scheme of things, it's not. It's not a lot of money. Five hundred dollars a day 
could like like that, that that's pennies for for a lot of successful drop shipper um drop shippers right and it really like it like again we're breaking it down like what product are you selling okay depending on what product or industry you decide to go in that can kind of dictate you know um what 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 your marketing strategy is and how you are getting like how you're gonna go get those get those sales and get that volume you need to hit that benchmark right if you only need one person a day to buy a hundred dollar product then you know that 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 right there it can like like that right there can change your entire marketing outlet versus you know saying you need to get 10 or you need to get 50 people to buy a ten dollar you know uh, like dad cap or something right um for 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 ten dollars right you need 50 people to buy a ten dollar product or you need one person to buy like a, a kayak or a canoe I, I don't know right so that right there that's the first part that you need to understand is like what what are you actually selling on your site, okay? Once you've determined that, and once you've vetted that, again, you gotta look at your possible marketing outlets and your competitors, especially if you're going with the route that I teach, in like, like, especially in my course, always plug, but basically, um, what you need to understand is, I always look for competitors. I always look for for noise in the industry, okay? Because what that says to me, because guys, it's dropshipping. Dropshipping is the easiest in, is the easiest industry to get into, okay? So if you aren't, you know, if, if there's no competitors in the space, that's a, that's a red flag. That that's that's not good, and that's something you should be worried about, okay? Now, um, literally, guys, I I, I structured this in like a. Uh, like, like a kindergarten fashion, like you know, who, what, where, what, are all the, all the, all the W's, right? So basically, now who, who is buying from you? Like, what is your customer profile kind of looking like? Okay, and oftentimes, you usually like you, you, you kind of know who, who might be interested in your product. For example, if we look at kayaks, right? Who might be interested? In that people that like the outdoors, people that like maybe like to go hiking or boating, um, stuff like that. Okay, or potentially, you know, um, like hats or fashion accessories, especially with men's accessories. You know, um, that right there is a whole market. You know, maybe 18 to 34 year olds that uh, like fashion that have you know X amount of buying power that uh, follow these specific pages or interests. You know, like stuff like that. Right? You might kind of have an idea of what your customer is, but you really you really don't know, right? You really don't know until the data actually tells you, until the numbers actually tell you, yo. This is who's buying from you. This is the demographic that's buying from you. This is the location that's buying from you. This is the age range that's buying from you. Um, all those kind of numbers, you you, you don't know until un, until the market tells you, right? And the only way to tell that is by experimentation with with your products, right, and with your marketing strategy. Okay. So what does that mean? You need to experiment, guys. You need to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak. You're you're literally tweaking the whole time. All right. So um, again, how do you you know how do you let the market tell you what it is? How do you let that data speak to you? Okay. Um, again, that means testing shout outs, testing influencers, testing ad copy, testing the pictures you use for those Instagram shout outs, okay? Because again, with my funnel, um, literally, like I have a whole video on my Instagram funnel, okay? But it's built from Instagram, okay? And you're getting that data from Instagram. You're driving that, that traffic from Instagram to your website, okay? After like a few different things in that whole Instagram funnel, um, eventually you get them to your website. You have, you know, the Facebook pixel on your website or your Google Analytics ID, whatever it is, but I, I usually go from Instagram and I later move on to Facebook for my for my paid advertising, okay? And what does that, like, what, what that means is basically you need to get that traffic from Instagram to your website so that you can collect data with your Facebook pixel, with whatever, like, tracking ID you're using so you can start to generate a customer profile, okay? Like, yo, these are the people that are, you know, are end up purchasing my products. If I know that, then now you can literally market to that audience. You can create lookalike audiences in Facebook. You can start to actually dig into, you know, what what your audience what your audience is looking like and that's how you really begin to, you know, let let the data talk and then that's how you begin to figure out who your customer profile is and then you can narrow in, dig deep and start to market to those exact people to get sales, okay? So does that make sense? Yes, it does. If it doesn't, rewind, okay? Or download the PDF <laughs> link in the description. Now, where, okay? So what is the best platform to begin with? Again, I like literally just went over this cuz I went on a tangent, but I always start with Instagram, okay? Instagram influencers are are like key. And I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about themed pages, okay? And that's a whole that's a whole different topic as like to why. But basically, themed pages, um, the the people that follow it usually have more of an interest in the actual theme of it than rather than like an influencer and what they actually do um, or shout out, okay? So I use theme pages on Instagram. Now I find those pages, I vet them, I make sure that you know the likelihood of them buying fake followers or fake engagement is very, very low compared to any other pages that I'm comparing. And you use that information, you purchase shout outs from them, okay? And then you you experiment, you you get, you purchase like, you get, you use a picture of your own, use a caption of your own, okay? And oftentimes if you don't know what to say, you don't know what picture to use, again, let the market speak to you. Let, let, the, let the market tell you what to do. Look at your competitors. What are they saying in their shout outs that, that seems to work? What kind of pictures are they using that seems to work, okay? You, you can literally, I'm not saying rip off from them because that, that is not what you want to do. You want to make your own brand because then that, that increases brand loyalty and everything else down the road, especially for getting recurring customers. But like just looking at what works and kind of mimicking that 
and going off of that, like spinning off of that saying, okay, I see this is working. And maybe they're, they're including, you know, two call to actions in all their captions. They have their website in their ad copy, even though, you know, it can't link on an Instagram caption, but they still have it there. Um, like stuff like that. Like what are the small things that these competitors are doing to actually drive traffic from an Instagram picture to their profile, to their website, right? Cause that's, that's the basic of the Instagram funnel, right? Cause you, you can't have links anywhere except your own profile page, right? So you need to get that traffic to your profile page to click through to your website. Okay. And that's how, like, that's how the funnel is broken down. And that's the platform that I use. I use Instagram to drive all my traffic and especially in the beginning. And and then I migrate to Facebook once I've like curated that Facebook pixel. Um, that process can can be anywhere from literally a few days to a month. It really depends on the amount of traffic you're getting, the amount of volume, and the amount of sales. Okay, if you're getting lots of sales, then you can you know assume like okay, I kind of understand or at least I have enough information to understand that these are the people that are buying my products. So now I know where to go and now I know who to market to, okay? If you're not getting sales, you don't wanna go into paid ads quite yet just because you don't know exactly who your customer profile is. Like who is buying from you, right? You don't know. And that, that's the whole point of like experimenting and trying to figure that out, especially with Instagram influencers because it's a lot more organic and you can kind of just gauge, okay, this this interest, this, this, this population of people um, prefers, you know, prefers these products. And that, that's how you kind of start to branch off to create lookalike audiences and to market to them. Okay guys. So again, literally how to start making $500 in Shopify. It, it really comes down to marketing. Okay. Your website is important. Don't get me wrong. You need a good converting website, but a lot of people stress too much on the website that they, la they leave out the entire marketing segment when that's the most important part. Like if you can't get eyeballs to your product, then you are like, you don't have you don't, you, you don't, you're not gonna make money if you can't get eyeballs. Like you can have the best looking website in the world, but if no one sees it, then no one sees it. You don't make money. Okay, you don't convert. You can't convert with zero traffic, okay? <laughs> that, you, just, you just, like you can't, okay? So, like what does that mean? You need to learn how to market your products. And again, what I do is I use Instagram influencers, okay? I find those influencers using Social Blade. You can vet them, you can Google, like not Google them, but you can search them in Social Blade, see their growth over time, look for no spikes in, in follow growth, anything like that to kind of determine, okay, these guys may or may not have bought, because like, again, you don't want to pay for a shout out and have that account be a majority of fake followers. That's less bang for your buck. You're not getting your money's worth um, for that shout out to try and like generate some sort of return on that. You're just you're literally just getting played, and that's not what you want to do. Okay, you want to be able to use influencers that that are good. Again, I have a whole video on influencers dropping. I think the next the next video. Okay, I'll have it linked like like here or something. Right, when whatever it's out, but. Basically, you're gonna vet these influencers and you're gonna determine, okay, this one's good, this one's bad, this one's good, right? and you're gonna use those and you're gonna experiment with them, okay? You're gonna experiment with the different pictures, the different ad copy, all that kind of stuff to tweak and experiment and see, all right, this drives a lot of traffic when I use this picture and this kind of angle, right? Say, you know, the free free product plus shipping offer. Maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't work for your product or your brand or the, whatever angle your business is going, right? Are you branding yourself as luxury? Are you branding yourself as affordable? Are you branding yourself as, you know, um, affordable luxury like literally there's so many different angles you can play off of but you just need to make sure there's continuity and flow in all of it your website your Instagram your social media profiles they all need to be relevant and the same you they can't they can't bounce from you know your website or they can't go to in your Instagram profile right say you spend money on a shout out you get their interest they go to your Instagram profile they're interested they click the link they go to your website your website is completely off it doesn't resemble or have any sort of vibe that your Instagram profile did and they bounce they leave all that that money you spent on that traffic on that shout out is gone just because you didn't have continuity or flow from Instagram to your website that's all why I keep all my websites very very visual just because Instagram is such a visual platform you keep it that way you want them to have some sort of familiarity or like likeliness um, when they move from a different platform especially if they're going to your website for the first time like that's your chance to make a first impression right if you take a girl out and I don't know where I'm going with that analogy, but you want to have a good first impression, all right? So that that's kind of what you guys want to do. This video was a little bit longer, but I hope it kind of like breaks it down for you guys. Like this is not very, um, it's not like a, okay, do this, do this, do this. Cause really like if I'm supposed, if you want me to tell you to like do that, do that, do that, it's make a Shopify website, okay? Figure out your marketing strategy or figure out who, like your marketing outlets. Who are you going to market towards, all right? How are you going to experiment at a cost effective rate, okay? Are you going to test shout outs with cheap influencers, okay? That, that's, that's something you should be doing, especially if you don't know if your ad copy works. You don't want to spend a lot of money on a shout out when you don't know if that picture is good or if that shout out's good. Like that's not, that's not like, like you gotta like be smart with your money, right? You gotta act like you're broke constantly so that you can use your money to the like like at a very cost effective rate, okay? And then in terms of like just like again going off of like what you need to do, make make a website, figure out your marketing strategy, your marketing outlets, 
figure out your product, right? Source your product, vet your product, make sure there's competition in the industry, okay? Upload those products to your website, make them look good, take, you know, um, your own product photography if you can. I always preach, especially in my course. Um, I also have videos always, I have a link in the description, I always plug. But, again guys, that's like what you need to do to make 500 a day is that, okay? But there's a lot of different mindset and just angles that you need to figure out, which is what I'm trying to give you guys in this video and like, in this like, in this backstory, and I, the camera was like sitting still the whole time. I like to usually hold it and whatnot, but like, guys, that's that, that that's kind of the breakdown of it. It's like, how do you make 500 a day? Well, you can make 500 a day in a bunch of different ways. It's what what is your preference? What do you take? Would you rather have one high volume sale every day? Would you rather have a bunch of low volume sales every day that you know it requires? less trust from the customer per se to get them to purchase than a high ticket offer, right? You have high ticket products, high ticket offers in the $500 one or low ticket offers, the $10 one, okay? And usually, you know, low ticket offers get more volume than high ticket offers. Um, that, that's, or it's cheaper to get lower ticket offers than it is to get high ticket offers, like something like that, right? But it's just how you market yourself, guys. It's how you market your brand and how you're gonna like angle it, okay? I know guys that are selling drones for $70 that are making, you know, 100K a month on Shopify. It's, it's ridiculous. It's just how you brand yourself and how you leverage that and make sure you have continuity between every single platform and like the entire funnel that traffic goes through, okay? You want continuity with that, like just, just nothing to, like to hurt your conversions, all right? But again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope that gave you some light on it all. Um, just like how to actually make 500 a day on Shopify. It's a process, it's a cycle. I hope it was useful for you guys. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I respond to everyone's comments in the comments below. So comment. I know I haven't uploaded in a fat minute, but like, like if you watch the update video, you'll know, you'll know what's up. There's a lot of shit popping. But like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to join the Telegram group, join the Facebook group, join the course if you haven't already, guys. There's testimonials through the roof. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace.